Okay, so we need to um, illustrate here all the different drinks um, that pupils had with their breakfast. You see what I've written down here, right? 360 divided by 90. The reason why is we need to have the pupils represented on this circle, yeah? It's called a pie chart, but it is a circle. And we know in a circle, all the way around this point here, angles will add up to 360 degrees. So what I want to do, represent all these pupils in here. So I need to divide this circle up, don't I? I need to divide it, I need to share it by all these pupils. So this is 360 degrees all the way around. I'm going to divide that by 90 pupils, okay? So if I do that, 360 divided by 90 comes out to be 4 degrees. In other words, each pupil, okay, is represented by 4 degrees, okay? So, you know, you know, I could say, the, instead of writing represented, I could say given 4 degrees. Each pupil is given 4 degrees on here, okay? So now we look at the different drinks, okay? So we've got tea, for instance, to start with. Now, um, how many pupils drank tea? Well, 40 drank tea. So, 40 lots then of 4 degrees, because each pupil is worth 4 degrees. So you just do 40 lots of 4, 40 times 4, you get 160 degrees, okay? Um, the next drink is coffee, right? So here is 25 pupils. Okay, so 25 lots of 4 degrees is 100 degrees. Then you've got milk. So 16 pupils drank milk. So 16 times 4. Okay, work that out, you get 64 degrees. And then 9, choose a different drink. Or add that we can write down. Okay. And in that case then, because there's nine of them, it's nine lots of four degrees, 36, okay? Now, a good way to check that you've done this right is to just add all these up, just to see, okay? So we'll check that on our calculator, okay? So 160 plus 100 plus 64 plus 36. So if I do that there, it should come to 360, and indeed it does, okay? So we can give ourselves a tick there to show we've done it right. Now, so on our pie chart, um, we just need to represent these angles. Now, what I like to do usually the pie chart, let's see we do it in the pencil, okay? Um, we will draw a vertical line to start with. It doesn't really matter how you start it. You could, you could draw a horizontal line if you wanted to. It, you can draw it whichever line you want, okay? But I find it easier to start there with a vertical line. So we measure these angles then. So the first angle is 160 degrees. So if I get my protractor, okay? Place it so that the origin of the protractor is on the center of the circle, okay, and then the baseline of the protractor lines up with the line I've just drawn, okay, so it's got to be directly on top of it, so you've got the origin there at the centre and the zeros there. If you look at where the zero is, okay, zero's on the outside, so it's the outside measurement we take, okay, going from the outside, count up in tens until you get to the angle you want, now it's quite a large angle, isn't it, it's 160 we wanted for the first one, so I mark it there, be accurate, mark it, it doesn't matter that I've marked it outside the circle. What I do now is, is I align okay, the centre of the circle with that mark, okay, like that. And then just check it's lined up properly. And then draw in then the radius there. So I've got my section with T. What's important is you label it T. What you do then is you could turn it around, because it is much easier to turn it around, and start again okay, from this line. For coffee, and that was 100 degrees. So again, get the um, origin here, line up the baseline, 100 degrees, zero there is on the outside, yeah? Okay, so all the way around to 100, mark it, connect it up. Okay, take your time. You want to be accurate here, it's so important. Uh, we'll label that with coffee. Last but one then 64 degrees next. So again, it doesn't hurt to just turn this around just to make it easier for you to measure this. Okay, so again, center here, um, lined up properly. You've got your zero there. It's so a 64, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, and four little marks take us to that. Okay, and then once we've done our penultimate one, the last one then is what will be the other case okay, so that should be 36 if you've done this accurately okay if you like one degree off that's okay right but you, you, just one degree okay so don't don't be too concerned if it is one degree off there but accurate you if you're really accurate 
you've, you, you'll be fine and you'll get the full marks on it.